Brothers and sisters, we are standing just in front of the mill, just in front of the door of no return. This area served as the final exit for all the captives who were bound to the West Indies, the Caribbeans, or to North America. It was estimated that about 500,000 to about a million captives were taken to this place over a period of about 160 years. And majority of them ended up in the British West Indies and the British Caribbeans, where you can mention countries like Jamaica, Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, uh, Bahamas, some part of St. Lucia, and the rest. The second majority was received by North America, where you can make mention of states like Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, North and South Carolina, Tennessee, New York, New Jersey, and all that received captives from here. A few were taken to England. So we have the inscription, Door of No Return. But the thing is, the British didn't write anything there, but the perception and the idea was there that when you go to this door, there was no way you could return. So we shall follow their footsteps, but surely we shall all return. All right, so to the door. All right, we can we can all come. All right, so again, ladies and gentlemen, to the door of no return. In chains and in shackles, all the captives were taken down to the shore. And as I said earlier on, the water over there is very shallow, or the water is not deep, so that made it impossible for the ships to come closer. At the shore, all the captives were placed on boat. Gradually, they joined the ships. And after they joined the ships, they head west. So that is why we are saying that when you go to that door, there was no way you could return. But when you look up again on the door, you find another inscription that says, Door of Return. Ladies and gentlemen, it is very symbolic. We had Door of Return in 1998, around September. For the first time in Africa, or for the first time in Ghana, we celebrated the Emancipation Day, or the Freedom Day. And during the first celebration, some of our brothers and sisters at the diaspora, like African Americans, Jamaicans, those in Canada, those in Europe, they came back to Ghana to join us celebrate the Emancipation Day. And for the first time, some of the brothers and sisters who came brought along two human remains of their relatives who were former slaves. They died over there, they were buried, but in 1998, their bones was exhumed from where they were buried. One was taken from New York. His name was Samuel Carson. The other was taken from Kingston, Jamaica. Her name was Madame Crystal. The remains were placed in casket. The remains were shipped to Accra by air. The remains were accompanied by the extended family members. From Accra, they brought the remains back to Cape Coast Castle. And interestingly, when they were coming from Accra to Cape Coast, they stopped about 20 kilometers from here. They did something symbolic again. They placed the remains on boat. So they took a boat right from that end to the spot. They stopped. The remains were carried to the store. We had a ceremony for them at the courtyard of the castle. And after the ceremony, the two remains were reburied again, 60 kilometers from here, when you heard north, at a village we call Asen Manso. Asen Manso because that was one of the biggest slave market we had in this area. It happened that captives from the north, west and east were merged at the market before they were brought down south to the coast. So every year, every 1st of August, we celebrate the Emancipation Day. So that is a reason behind Door of Return. So I, I normally say to brothers and sisters that you are not tourists. You are here on a pilgrimage to the motherland. So here I say Aquaba to all of you. It is just like Joseph in the Old Testament. I hope you know the story. The brother sold him. Joseph became so very prominent that at the end of the day, Joseph helped his brothers out. 
So today, our brothers and sisters in America, Jamaica, are well off, educated. So the thing is, come back home, share your knowledge, your expertise with the brothers and sisters here too. So once again, I say, Akwaba, Akwaba to you. Sure. All right. So we shall return and have a look at all the that we Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. We, right. we haven't finished. Yeah, no, we have one oh, more case. Yeah, we haven't finished. Right. Right. So let's let's follow. Yeah, let's have a look at the cell. Condemned cell. One people were suffocated to death for trying to escape. Oh, okay.